It's kind of odd that China is recently overwhelmed by a certain creature. Huh? Not locust, not panda, but a pink piglet. What? Or more specifically, the Picasso style Peppa Pig. Hi, I like your dress, so I bought the same one. <laughs> well, in China, people love Peppa Pig so much that it has been made into balloons, hair dryers, watches. Its portrait is printed on T-shirts, phone cases, packages, nails, and arms. Wait, is that a tattoo? <laughs> It's the most innocent-looking tattoo I've ever seen. It's like, mommy, look at my little cutie. It will definitely make people love me more. <laughs> Well, it's not just kids. Many Chinese celebrities have also fallen for it. But how Peppa Pig went viral in China is still a mystery. Let's go hit the communities to get some hints. Yes, coincidentally, 2019 is the year of pig in China. When the prevalence of Peppa Pig is expected to continue, with the theme park to be established in Shanghai, would you believe it? A theme park like Disneyland or Universal Studio is about to set up just for a pig. Well, it's somewhat reasonable considering the huge potential in China's cultural market. In 2016 alone, Peppa Pig has made over 1.1 billion U.S. dollars. Wow! And what's more appealing is, in the first half of 2017, its revenue in China saw a 700% increase. And statistics show that China's consumer market for children will surpass 785 billion U.S. dollars in 2020. With further opening up measures, the Chinese market is definitely welcoming more cultural products like Peppa Pig with open arms.